All right, folks, the deck is Odd Taunt Druid. The goal of the deck is to survive the early game, start making some big taunts in the mid game with the help of a ramp from Bio Project and maybe something off of Nature Studies as well, to eventually make your way into the late game where you have Hadronox, the ability to naturalize that Hadronox to summon a board full of taunts and then repeat that multiple times with Witching Hour and or Carnivorous Cube to ensure that you get layers upon layers of taunt minions and eventually overwhelm your opponent regardless of what type of deck they're playing. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Catch me live at twitch.tv slash raw. Watch this! Thank you. My thanks. Speaking of thank you, Cryogenics, thank you for the 100 bits. Please put the face thing in your next video on YouTube. What face thing? This thing? Ah! Better hope I win. <laughs> okay. It looks like uh, Reno. Which I think I have the late game for. I've got um, Witching Hour into Cube already. Don't take my book, jerk. Should go face and cube this so that this is um, corrupted. Is that bad? It's one less Hadronox board, but I don't know if I need that many Hadro boards. I could also just coin an Arbor up. Maybe that's better. I think that is better. This gives us a opportunity to maybe run away with the game in early on. But I do need to find the curator as soon as possible so that I can find the Hadronox. I don't want to lose it to a Ticketus. That could be game losing. Still gonna play this and go face. The good news, oof, oof, that why'd you tap? You didn't have to overdraw there. All right, they may have some sort of combo I need to be worried about. Oh, we drew the Hadro. Okay, everything's fine, chat. Should be winnable. There's a tick in our future? Yeah. I'm not too concerned about that, though. Uh, now that we drew the Hadronox. That was my primary concern. Could be treachery? That's true. There could be, like, just a soft treachery combo. I think I would rather get this down so that I can kill the Zilliux. But getting some big taunts at this stage in the game is also, is also very good. What odd deck is the best? Um, Paladin or Rogue? Why don't you naturalize his minion to Overdraw? Overdraw at this stage in the game does not matter, and I need the naturalize for the Hadronox so that it doesn't get sheeped by a Gazakus. Primarily just because naturalize or overdrawing at this stage in the game has no consequence. If this game is going to fatigue, I'm at a disadvantage because they have um, because they have Ticketus and I don't. So I want to avoid this game going to fatigue if I can. This takes me to 10 mana. It's actually a really good time to draw that. They don't overdraw, but that does not matter. Isn't this one better to... I thought you just want bigger numbers when you're doing that. I don't... 
I just never play that. Oh, right, he can't target the 7 7. I'm dumb, not the opponent. Okay, that's spooky, but it does mean don't hit this, please. Thank you. Oh, no! Oh, that's bad twice. We can get the witching hour off before this dies, at least. Just go here, here, punch that. Slay them. This isn't ideal, but I just want to increase the ratio of Hadronox to uh, Baku right now. The reason it's not ideal is if they, like, if they just kill the uh, the Hadronox itself, then I don't really have um, much stuff on board. I'm not getting nearly as much value as I could. Okay. I don't think I want to naturalize here. We've already seen Bran. Ticketus hits um, five cards. So I think I'd rather just go here. I want to get as many Void Walkers in the pool as I can. Just go from here. Okay. It's good that I got rid of those Void uh, Walkers then. But we're just actually ahead in fatigue now. Yeah, they're going to kill the Hadro. Reduce the value. That's still quite a lot of value, though. Wait, do I just have enough damage here? Yes. Seems like it's enough, right? Easy game. Victory or death. I must protect the wild. I think a uh, nature studies is fine to keep. I probably want a um, spellstone against warrior as well. None will survive. They full mold, so even if they miss a pirate on one. Oh, odd versus odd. The ultimate showdown. I think we actually have a really good chance at winning this. I want to get uh, multiple copies of uh, Mephishin if I can. But even just like the waves of uh, of Hadronox are going to be difficult to deal with. That seems good. Or I can make a 6-6. Six, six. I think most of my minions are better than 6-6s six, though, right? At least you're both evenly matched then. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? Do you know what made you misjudge armor up? Because it's a lot better than I initially thought as well. Uh, I, I assumed the mana cost was more prohibitive. Prohibitive? Jeez. Prohibitive. Prohibitive. There we go. Use take 16. Uh, then I initially th thought, because Druid. 
And then on top of that, the fact that it builds a board and then buffs means that you can honestly, like it's just a fair card if you play it with nothing on board. So if it's a fair card when you play it with nothing on board, that means it's like a great card when you play it with something on board. So that's that's the part I missed is that it's actually buffing the trees that you um, that, that you get from it. All right, let's corrupt these cards, and I want to I want to watch my hand size because of Cold Light Oracle. I'm gonna kill these while I can before Whirlwind effects happen, and I need to watch my own health total in comparison to theirs um, or their armor total at least in case they're running the Silas combo. How does my boy Gloomstag not even make it the cut for this deck? He was made specifically for it. Well, we have a very specific three mana card that we're running that makes him really bad. So, that's the main reason. I'm gonna go face now. Ignore that. Just because it's probably more valuable to get four to face than it is to prevent this from maybe getting two or th four extra armor. Everyone keeps trying to b add beasts in chat. Yeah. I, that's... <laughs> yeah. Chat doesn't always, like... Get the clearest picture before they start recommending cards. I don't think this is a time for a uh, a naturalize. It is a good arbor up though. I think they're gonna have a hard time getting enough armor to kill me if they are the Silas combo. Smally Druid completely fallen out of the meta. I haven't seen one in a while. Um, it's good for beating Priest, but like struggles against um, some of the faster decks that are common now. It's a good sign for me. That probably indicates there's no um, there's no Silas combo. So I'm just gonna start spamming minions here. I don't think we lose from this spot, or it's going to be very hard for us to lose from this spot. That's good, but... Oh! Okay. I don't want to play that ever. I think I just want to dump this so that I'm not weak to like Brand Cold Light, or as weak rather. Gets me a little bit more damage through as well. I don't want to play the Baku though. Like, ever. Or at least not until I played both Witching Hours. When you have more armor than Odd Warrior. Yeah? That's what Consistent Pressure will do. That's uh, pretty bad for them. Wait, no, they don't have any zero attack stuff, do they? Probably not. I'm just going to kill it, though. <clears throat> I kill this. That's fine. Got both cubes. I'm gonna have to give up on something here pretty quick. Whether it be a naturalize or cube. Looks like it might have to be a naturalize. I think I can give up a nat here, right? Because I only need one when I've got um, cubes for the witching hours anyway. Baku question mark. You mean that card I've been saying I'm not going to play this entire game? It's the biggest minion they're going to have, right? And we get to overdraw them one. Which is less important. I'm still gonna get rid of this because of Brian Cold Light. And like it just doesn't do anything. Feel like solar equips might fit well into this deck? Go ahead and add it. And let me know how it works for you.
At this point, a cold light would actually be to our benefit. I'm definitely playing that, right? Is there any card for ten- like, maybe Survival of the Fittest would be a reason not to, uh, play the Spellstone? Let's find out. We did it, chat. Uh, this sets up for a decent arbor up at least, and just gets on board. And they're just getting further and further into fatigue at this point. <laughs> yeah. Well, we did hit the arbor up. I think I'm just gonna play it. It's a 5 mana 8 6, which again, <laughs> this is why the card is so silly. Light the fuses. And now our board's gone. Alright, need to draw something high impact here pretty soon. Haven't I already played the Curator? Was that this game? No, that was last game. Well, <laughs> I guess that answers that question. That's my best draw. Maybe not my best, but it's definitely up there. I want this to die, so we'll just go face. Alright, now we just need to find the witching hours. It should be a pretty free win from here, though. The opponent is, uh, appears to be in need of some cards. We might as well help him out with that. Guess that's fine. I don't know. Oh, we got one of these back. Ooh! That's, I mean, we, we just burned their win condition. <laughs> uh, the, uh, the Mephition's real good, though. Like, we are already ahead, and then that's just... I did, well... <laughs> Honestly, I could cube that and be fine with it. Just because it gets us uh, further ahead into fatigue. They, I, I don't see how they win. Even if they have Elysiana, which is unlikely, I don't know if that's going to give them enough. Mm. I'm going to kill it. I don't want them to magnetize anything to it. I feel like they probably don't want to play a Cold Light Oracle here either, so they've got a lot of dead cards. They've got one more Brawl. Gooseroo, thank you for the five months. Five months of that sweet Rafflay content. <laughs> thank you for that support, really appreciate it. All right, more stuff shuffled. Hey, there's our Witching Hour. Um, I don't think I'm actually playing it this turn, but, well... We're only gonna get more dragons on the board, right? Pretty good. There's the Brawl. And that clears the way for the dragon, uh, the Dream Portals. So, it works out. That was definitely worth a brawl there. Also, we get double Hadro back. <laughs> oh my god, this just isn't fair. They need a Blade Storm here. There it is. But now they can kind of just die. One damage off legal chat. Your one. Magic. 
so unlucky. I better just concede here. Oh, that's not a card you want to play here. Well, thank you. My beloved Tyrande. Ah, uh, we full mold this. Not a good hand against either type of priest. I think I maybe have a better chance against a uh, big priest rather than just getting comboed down by a uh, Raza priest. But None will survive. we shall see. It's gonna be big priest. I mean, like I said, I would rather see a big priest than just get comboed out by a Reno priest, which is what happens in that matchup. Arbor up could help me apply enough pressure to, like, not die to the combo. For the wild. So far it does look like a big priest. What face? Dragon Reno Priest. That makes it a little bit slower into the combo, so. Also, they could get um, Operative into Hadronox. That'd be a bummer. The only Priest deck allowed? I mean, any Priest deck is allowed. Twitch chat is not the police, or the deck police. Alright, um, I mean, they've got the combo on curve. We're probably dead. I don't know where we go from here. There's the secret agent. I mean, what's even good for them in my deck? Naturalized nature studies? Why would I trade here? The best not aggro counter for Secret Mage in current wild, I face them like 40 to 50% of the time. I'd find that unlikely, but yes, you're probably facing them a lot. Um, some people say that uh, Odd Warrior is a good matchup for it, but I'm not sold on that. But you could try it out. Pretty sure Secret Mage has a positive win rate into basically anything. Not. Everything, but most things, yes. Um, it's about even in, in, into Pirate Warrior. Just play Tech Shaman? No, you do not want to do that. I promise you. Odd Paladin is good unless they draw a Flak Mage or um, Flame Ward, but it used to have a, a good matchup. I don't know how it, how it is anymore. Okay, that's a pretty good hit off of the uh, operative. It's just four? No, it does two. Yikes. Um, okay, so we're playing a five alongside it. But I can hear a power and kill that. This could be my five. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, it's about as good of a spot I can expect to be in in, in this game. Well, it does look like they have some sort of. Huh? It's your own minion. Not really the one I meant, but that's fine. Do we have any outs for lethal here? I've played both. Uh, maybe if I draw into nature studies. Oh, 
close. These are likely to die anyway, so I might as well play around um, Seance. Could have killed that off, but might have been worth. Really need to find the Hadro and um, Naturalize, so Curator is a good draw just to well, I don't have any dragons left. Oh, I have one dragon left, just to help thin my deck so that I can get to the, uh... Whoopsie! I wonder if they picked an even cost card. <laughs> hey, there's Curator. The menagerie is for guests only. There's Hadronox. I think we've got a decent enough uh, life total buffer that even if they do draw the Anduin soon, we're in an okay spot. They made the mistake of not drawing Anduin up by turn 8, which, I don't know, it's really unforgivable. At last. Um, if they're planning ahead, they probably know we have Hadronox, which means they're going to be looking for uh, Poly Potion, which is rough. Even if it's just the 5 mana Poly Pot, it's very good into this. Damage. He's gonna kill that. This is corrupted and this is corrupted. We just need to find a way to generate a Yashira now. Oh, they didn't get Polly. Okay. It's really good news for me. ninja um none of these cards are playable right now so i need to top deck something oof that's big am i gonna have to face tank that can't even face tank that yikes Yeah. A simple spell should do. Rot into my core. Just hold here. Your wish is my suggestion. I guess twist even good here. Black Knight would be good. Because they can then dictate trades. I don't know what their options are, but it seems like an expensive Shadow Flame. I feel like if Anduin's in hand, it's worth playing here, right? Oh my god. That's concerning. What is that doing? might get me killed. <laughs> no, 
we got some four attack minions. Exclamation point priest. <laughs> I guess that explains why we're not dead yet. That's uh it's an expensive card. Arbor up off the top or for, not arbor up, what you know. Watched it. Alright. Double cube. Now hang out. So there are only actually there's actually only six cards in my deck because four of them are dream portals. So two out of six, one third of my deck is oh my god, one third of my deck is witching hours, which is what I'm looking for here. That's a witching hour. Hmm. I didn't get any of the big rush minions. We're probably getting screamed here. That's okay. Not sure that solves the problem. Almost to the point where we can play Baku. We've already seen Reno, but we haven't seen Ray's dead. I'm gonna hang out here, because there's no reason to extend further. What if they're just not running Anduin? Still dead? Get out of here. I am almost out of cards. It is finished. You win. Race dead is dead dread steed every time. True. True. Thank you to legendary patrons Anonymous Toast, Brokey, Dope Guy, Fizzle Jizzix, Jeffrey Pierce, Justice Crater, Molly Mock, Neofay, Shadow1TV, Sognisman, and Vanfix.